ladies. Are these seats free? They are. What luck. Good evening. I'm Adam Grossman. I am currently six years old. And this is my father, Evan Grossman, age classified. Like <laughs> Heidi Klum, my father is recently divorced. Unlike Heidi Klum, everything else. Nice to meet you. What a cute little boy. <laughs> cool your jets, sweetheart. It will never work between us. You're a mature woman, and I'm this many. Uh, don't bother these nice ladies. Good evening. Good to see you, Su Shin. I love your showmanship, but please be careful with those knives. You're giving me flashbacks to my bris. I don't know if I should clap or cover my schmeckle. I'm kidding, Su Shin. Mazel tov and arigato to you. How are you, Adam san? I'm hanging in there by a thread, Su Shin. My father's new girlfriend is joining us tonight. They met online. Based on what I read off my father's J-Date profile, his hobbies include stretching the truth. <laughs> he described himself as outdoorsy. Hilarious! This is a man who has to pop a clarin before he has to go into the garage. I'm kidding! Lighten up! Hello, Evan. Evie, that's a very smart sweater. Ooh, whoa! Did a hurricane of sexuality just blow through here? <laughs> or did Debbie Wasserstein just enter the building? Adam. You look lovely, Debbie, in that perfume, huh? Let me guess, Frown by Calvin Klein. <laughs> Rim shot. But don't laugh too hard, Sushin. I've seen your wife. Sushin's wife is so ugly, the towels say his and its. Adam. What? Sushin loves it. Look at his face. <laughs> Say, I am thirsty. Who does a kid have to give a blow pop to to get a drink around here? Uh, good evening. Welcome to Benihana. How are you, my man? Real talk. When I was three, I cried every time I saw a black fella. <laughs> I wasn't racist. I just didn't know how to process things. But now I'm six and I'm hip to your plate. You are my brother. And I think this so cool, cool thing you're doing is fabulous, babe. Who knows who that was? It was Sammy Davis Jr. Anybody? They don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I'm six. Oh, can I take your drink order? Let's do a round of sake bombs, my man. I'm joking. I'm six. <laughs> but I do want to celebrate the fact that I swam a length of the pool without floaties today. I just put my head down, remembered to breathe, and pretended Debbie was chasing me. <laughs> Here's that million-dollar smile. Adam, it is rude to talk about Debbie like that. All right, all right. Then let's talk about what I found in your medicine cabinet, Viagra. Don't look at me like that. I'm going to snoop. I'm six. I was just looking for a Flintstones chewable to help me to get through a tough Wednesday, and I took a Schwartz pill by accident. <laughs> Let's just say it made for an interesting day at Hebrew school. My desk was a foot higher than everyone else's. The door kept sliding onto my lap. Everything was not kosher. I'm six. Sushin, any chance I could maybe eat before I'm seven? Peppa steak? Thank you, Sushin, sweetheart. Peppa steak? No, thank you. Just because you put it in Debbie's face doesn't mean she'll put it in her mouth. Dad knows. Yeah. I hope this ball has an escalator because it's the only thing Debbie goes down on. <laughs> if you think that joke is immature, it is. So am I. I'm six. That makes me happy, Adam. And that makes me happy. You're my dad. I love you more than anything. And Debbie, she's a mensch, and I love her too. And I love you, Adam. Your voice is so sexy. I can't believe my dad has to take a pill. <laughs> Well, I've had so many Shirley Temples, I feel like she's dancing on my bladder. Dad, care to escort me to the bathroom? You're old enough uh, to go on your own, Adam. Do you not watch the news? There are strangers out there who want to grab my tuchus. Okay, okay. Besides, you're my best friend. You can't blame me for wanting to spend time with you. Hold my little boy hands. <laughs>
On the day she married my father, she told me, you don't have to call me mom, to which I replied, you don't have to call me ever. I'm joking, I'm six. Well, it's very nice to meet you. I'll file that under unconvincing. Hello, Adam. Hello, Angel. Can I get you something to drink? Ah, uh, I'll have a Doors and soda. I'm kidding, I'm six years old. He'll have an apple juice and I'll have a white wine. Fun fact, I'll have a white wine is the closest thing that Debbie has to a catchphrase. Debbie, relax, I'm joking. You're so uptight. So what do you ladies do for a living? Uh, we're paralegals. Well, if you ask me, you're a pair of knockouts. Debbie, relax, it's flirty, it's fun, I'm six. Adam, please. This one, always with the Adam, please. Spend enough time with Debbie and you'll think my last name is please, but it's not, it's Grossman. And you know, you may know me from such hits as standing at the sideline at soccer practice, falling asleep in the backseat of cars, or an almost constant fruit punch mustache. Okay, Adam, these ladies didn't come to talk to you, okay? Ah, uh, this is Benny Hanna. It's a communal table. If they wanted privacy, they could have gone to, oh, I don't know, any other restaurant? I'm joking, I'm six. Okay, Adam, remember our talk about boundaries? You'll have to excuse Debbie. She's a child psychologist. And I am, as it were, her white whale. I'm even featured in her latest book, My Stepson, The Burden. Though she changed the name to Eric, don't think I don't know, Debbie. Well, I think it's nice that you and your stepmother spend so much time together. Debbie didn't have much say in this one as my father is on a business trip. I hope that's not code for mistress vacation. I'm joking! Besides, why would a man stay straight when he has Debbie at home? Q-I roll. <laughs> I'm writing a book about Debbie and my father's sex life. It's called One Shade of Grey. <laughs> I don't even get that reference. I'm six. Hello, Adamson. Ah, this is Katsuko, the first lady chef at this Benihana. Let's hear it for Obama's America. I'm joking, Katsuko. Arigato and Mazel Tov. Here are your drinks. Ah, thank you, sweetheart. And here's something for your trouble. Oh, it's a quarter. <laughs> hey, it's nothing to shake a stick at, Toots. I lost a tooth for that. <laughs> so, ladies, what's the occasion? Oh, my friend and her boyfriend just broke up, so I'm cheering her up. Ah, uh, I myself am no stranger to heartache. At recess last week, I showed my tuchus to one Jenny Finkel, and she was, as they say, not having it. <laughs> At least I have my turtle to keep me company. Do you ladies like turtles? I'm uh, sure. What's your turtle's name? Shell Silverstein. <laughs> If you're six, that joke is hilarious. Oh, here we go. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I don't share in your excitement. When I see a woman with knives, I want to say, honey, please, she meant nothing to me. <laughs> Does the name John Wayne Bobbitt ring a bell? It doesn't for me because it happened before I was born. I'm six. Adam, you're being very rude. Have you ladies laid your eyes on the film Frozen? because it's based on Debbie's demeanor. I'm not saying Debbie is cold, but the polar vortex told her to take it down a notch. That is inappropriate. No, inappropriate is you listening to NPR on the drive over. Now my nightmares will take place in Syria and star Terry Gross. And hey, all things considered, maybe consider a kid is listening and throwing a train whistle every once in a while to hold my interest. If you don't start behaving yourself, I'm gonna take you home to bed. First, you gotta take me to the bathroom because I cannot go alone. <laughs> Ever since the babysitter let me see the movie Taken, I've had an irrational fear of abductions. <laughs> and suffice to say, Debbie is no Liam Neeson. Well, if a kidnapper takes you, they have my sympathy. Debbie, with a joke! <laughs> Debbie, with a little sticker! All kidding aside, though, I am the luckiest kid in the world. Debbie looks out for me. She cares about me. I, I love her to death.
A Debbie smile? That's like seeing a Yeti. All right, that's enough from me. You've been a great audience. Good evening, fellas. Is this seat taken? Um, no. It's a pleasure to join you both. My name is Adam Grossman. I'm six years young. And this is my very lovely and very single nanny, Miss Lily. And she must be from Jamaica because she's making me go to bed at eight tonight. <laughs> well, I understand the decision. I'm six. Hi. And I'm not from Jamaica. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Jake, and this is Tony. Well, 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 there's two of them, Will. I like your chances tonight. As for me, it looks like I'll be spending another evening with my right hand in a sock. <laughs> what? I'm making a sock puppet. I'm six years old. <laughs> Let's just calm down, Adam. I'm only joking. Sheesh. Talk about a wet blankie. I love you to death, but sometimes you're about as fun as apple slices for dessert. <laughs> I'm kidding. She's good people. We spend a lot of time with each other since my parents' divorce day. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't feel bad for me. I'm getting every kid's dream. Two Hanukkahs. Can I get you folks something to drink? Cup of Joe for me, sweetheart, please. And I like my coffee like I like my nannies. Black and bitter. I'm kidding. I'm six. I'll take a fruit punch neat. Always get your drink neat here. They try and load you up on ice so they can bone you on the punch. It's a racket. I'll have a glass of wine, please. You bet. Okay, so I guess I'm driving home. <laughs> I'm joking. Everything's Irie, Mom. Drink all the red stripe you want. I am not from Jamaica. I shot the sheriff. <laughs> but me do not shoot the death. You're giving me nothing here. It feels like pulling teeth without a string. How about some chef tricks? That'll lighten the mood. Where's Sushin? Hey, I'm sorry, little guy. Sushin's not working tonight due to he got fired for stealing beef. But Gail has got you covered. Woof. Uh, no offense, Gail, but I haven't been this disappointed since I found out that is a Santa Claus and he wants nothing to do with me. I guess we'll have to settle for small talk. So uh, you two fellas celebrating something? Well, actually, yes. Uh, we both just got engaged. Oh, Mazel! Here's some marriage advice for you. Don't do it! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm six! What do I know? You're both obviously a lot older than me. What are you, 11, 12? I'm 37. Wow, so I guess my next question is, what was Moses really like? I'm teasing! <laughs> hey, at least you're not as old as Lily here. You know his social security number is two! <laughs> Lord, help me. No, really. Lily's so old that in history class, she just wrote down what she was doing. <laughs> okay, Adam. She's old. <laughs> okay, Adam, let's just let the nice men enjoy the dinner, okay? One love! <laughs> One I'm kidding. Anyway, love's on your engagement. I'm sure you're both marrying two very lovely women. Look, I am. Well, actually, we're getting married to each other. Okay. <laughs> Record scratch. You're doing what now? Um, I'm sorry. He's probably just a little confused. Ah! Well, like my mind is completely freaking blown. <laughs> Two buddies getting married to each other? That's genius. Wait till Eli hears about this. He's my best friend. We've been play dating for years. And I love him dearly. Look, he's 3'5", he's got four teeth, he's got the stickiest hands I've ever seen. But what can I say? I like to fix people. That's so cute. Now, I gotta ask, who proposes to who? Because I'm a top and Eli's a bottom. Adam! Whoa! I make bug beds. I'm six. I don't even understand that double entendre. Okay, maybe we should explain. Hold that thought. I want to hear everything, but unfortunately, right now, I have to make bumps. And Lily, your ring's off this time in case you got to fish one loose again. <laughs> Would you believe that I have a four-year degree? I have no idea what that means, but redemption, son! <laughs>